Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for a brand new video. Today, we're here to talk about the Montreal Canadiens. We're facing the worst team in the NHL tonight and the Anaheim Ducks. And yeah, the uh, reverse retro curse is real, man. We've talked about it in the preview in today's video. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, I make reviews like this after every game. I make daily Habs content. So if you want to subscribe and turn on post notifications, if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with the Habs, that would be amazing. Also, let's try and get 60 likes in this video, even though the Canadians lost the game. Um, I also added some brand new emos for the people who are members of the channel. So if you want to become a member, uh, be free to do it. And there's also some brand new Tropical Habs merch first link in the description go um go take a look at that so yeah the canadians lose five to two against the anaheim ducks who had only one regulation win before tonight it's their second regulation regulation win uh tonight in montreal um and yeah it was a terrible game this was embarrassing and uh, yeah everybody just looked like they thought it was going to be an easy game and even this morning in the press conference Martin saying we said that he was not nervous so right there there it was the bad attitude to start with even um even more after a loss like yesterday against the Ottawa Senators um yeah that was disappointing that was really disappointing a lot of bad things have happened this game uh, the only two players that have played good, the only couple of players that have played good tonight are, for me, Uri Slavkovsky, um, Cole Caulfield, Caden Gooley, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The rest of the players played a terrible game of hockey, terrible game by Jake Allen. He killed the momentum of his team after uh, the two weak goals he let um, the Ducks score. Um, Nick Suzuki was not great, and I don't really like the way Nick Suzuki's been playing in the last three or four games. I've talked about it on Twitter. If you don't follow him on Twitter, link is in the description. I make uh, live action tweets uh, when there's games. So yeah, if you want to talk with me, interact with me, Twitter in the description. But yeah, I've, talk I've talked about it on Twitter, and yeah, Nick Suzuki needs to play a more simple game. He's just trying to be too fancy out there. He was more efficient when he were making the quick little plays. And he looks a bit first frustrated in the last four games. And he just stands to make um, some not simple plays, some high risk plays. And I don't really like it. He's still getting the points because he's a really talented player. But I think he would be more efficient if he was playing a simpler, simpler type of hockey personally. Um, Kirby Dog did not play bad. It was not his best game, though. Um, Jordan Harris, Kovacevic made terrible mistakes. Same thing for Harbor Jack Eye. Uh, same thing for uh, Chris Weidman. Same thing for Joel Edmondson. Even Caden Gooley made some mistakes, but I feel like he was more invested into the game. That's why I think that he was one of the the, the best halves player tonight. Uh, same thing for Rysovkovsky. He was a lot invested into the game, and he still got punished. Because in the third period, he only played two minutes. Uh, he was retrograded to the fourth line for absolutely no reason. Uh, he got retrograded into not even be playing on the power play anymore. So uh, even though he was playing a really, really good game, Slavkovsky got punished and he got retrograded into the fourth line and into not even being on the power play anymore. So yeah, I don't really get this. Like, you have guys like Armia, you have like guys like um, Pitlick, you have guys like uh, Dodonov that have been doing absolutely nothing, that have been absolutely terrible. Even Mike Offman tonight was horrific. He was horrendous. He was terrible. And you still have the young guy you drafted first overall who is getting punished. The guy is going to start to get mentally affected by this. He's just going to go, what did I do wrong? You did nothing wrong. You're right. I don't know why you got retrograded into the fourth line and why you got benched in the fourth and the third period because you did not deserve to get benched you deserve to be the first player you sent on the ice because you were playing an amazing game right Slavkovsky was playing an amazing game and I'm not going to go on a rant about this again because I did a couple videos back but 
if you're not going to play him in critical situation, and if you're going to play some veterans that are playing absolutely terrible, why haven't you sent him to the World Junior? That's my question. I really, I really don't get it. Um, Cole Caulfield played really good. He had a lot of chances, a lot of chances, and uh, he scored two goals. He, he's the guy. He's the main reason why the Canadians were still in this game at some point in the third period. Uh, he could have easily scored four goals. He's now at 18 goals. Uh, he's been the best abs player in the last two games, in my opinion, with, along with, alongside with Juraj Sovkovsky. Uh, so, yeah, Cole Caulfield, definitely the best abs player tonight with those two goals with a lot of chances. And he was invested. Like He looked like he wanted to come back in this game. And a lot of abs players tonight did not look like they wanted to be there. And that sucks again because people paid $400 to go watch that game in the reverse retro night. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to play hockey, uh, Sofkowski wants to play hockey. So if there are some guys that are not interested in playing in this team, just send them in the AHL, send them in the stands. They don't deserve to be there. There's a guy like Anthony Richard who's been killing it in the AHL that deserves a call up. So definitely saying we needs to shock a bit his locker room because uh, it's not working like it's it's really not working those veterans that are not doing shit they have no points they have no goals they have absolutely nothing they bring nothing to the club and then you get a guy like your Sofkovsky that gets benched instead of those guys it makes me sick to the stomach because Sofkovsky before tonight he had five points in his last six games he was starting to get more confident he was playing really good again tonight he was one of the most noticeable halves player on the ice tonight and he got benched and retrograded into the fourth line for no reason. And you have a guy like Jonathan Drouin, who is two on two for um, shitty turnovers at the end of the game uh, when the net is empty. He did the same thing against the Ottawa Senators last night. It did not turn into a goal. Tonight it did. And he killed the momentum again. The Canadians could have come back if they uh, would have been able to um play their power play at the end of the period but he lost the puck on one of the simpler play i've ever seen in my life and the docks ended up scoring an empty netter um so yeah definitely some weird decisions coming from the coaching staff don't really get why alex burroughs is still there i've been talking about it since the this summer actually i've talked about it this summer uh, that i did not really get why alex burroughs was still there because the Canadians had the worst power play last year in the NHL. And Alex Burroughs was the guy running it. And you decide to keep him. And this year, the Canadians have the worst power play in the NHL. Might not be a coincidence. Like, the, the problem is coming from his strategies. The problem is coming from his system. Because for a guy like, like Martin saying, who's been saying, I don't want to trap guys into system. The power play is trapped in the system. Like, the players look lost. They keep on doing the same plays, the little back pass in the neutral zone over and over and over and over again. And I think that it kills their originality. It kills their freedom to make plays because they just think to themselves, all right, we need to do that back pass. We need to do that back pass. We need to, we need to sit on uh, a one, three, one in the offensive zone. We need to do this. We need to do that. And for a coach that said multiple times that he doesn't want to put players trapped in the system, the power play is legit the opposite of that. The power play makes players trapped in the system where they are obligated to make that little back pass that brings them absolutely nowhere because they scored their first goal, their first power play goal tonight in 24 occasions since December 3. And that's not acceptable at the NHL level. In my opinion, even though you're a team rebuilding, even though your team was not aspiring for the Stanley Cup, this is my opinion. You need to fire Alex Perros. He cannot remain there. And I hope that can't use and Jeff Gorton make something, do something about it. Because you need the power play to be producing. It gives player points, it gives some players value as well. So yeah, definitely not a good thing. Would probably put Suzuki down the middle if I was them with Sofkovsky and Suzu uh, and Caulfield as shooting threats with Kirby Doc at the point. And you put a big guy in front of the net. Um, yeah, you keep the 1 3 1, but I think that their approach has not been like perfect. You need to attack more the slot, you need to attack more the middle. They've just been circling the puck through the through the board, circling it in the corner, circling it in the on the wings. 
you need to attack the middle in the NHL to score more goals. And Austin Matthews, the proof of that, because he's one of the players that attacks the slot the most, and he's one of the best goal scorers in the NHL. And I think that it's for that reason. The Habs player need to attack more the slot, and they need to do it more even on the power play, because they have a guy... They have a guy on the box. They have a, a, a guy less on the ice and there's more space. You need to attack the middle in those occasions and you even need to attack the middle in five on five. That's my opinion. That's one of the biggest Habs problems this year. They don't attack the slot enough. They just keep on playing on the wings. They play, play on the wings. They play on the wings. They rim it to the board and it's not working. It's not working on a power play. It's not, it's not been working on five on five. Um, in the last couple of games either. So they need to fix it when something's not working. You need to change it because if you don't change it, nothing's going to happen. And uh, yeah, I think that they really do need to fire Alex Burroughs. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. Give me yours in the comments below. It was my quick analysis about tonight's game against the Anaheim Docks. Uh, worst team in the NHL by far did not win one, only one game in regulation this week this year. Um, had only seven wins. Um, the worst power play in the league, worst PK, one of the worst power plays in the league, worst PKs in the league, uh, worst defense, worst offense, and we found a way to lose that game. 5-2, to embarrassing. Jay Callen could not make a safe for his living again. He killed the momentum, like I said. And yeah, that's my opinion on tonight's games. Give me yours in the comments below. Merch and socials are in the uh, description below. Also, if you want to become a member, be free to do it. If not, turn on the belt and subscribe it's been your boy tropical habs and i'll see y'all tomorrow for brand new videos have a nice rest of your day have a good night of sleep and bye bye